Today we're at Automate and I'm at McNaughton McKay Electric Company and I'm with Nathan Nicholas, Services and Solutions Manager. Nathan, tell us a little bit about what makes Mac and Mac, as we all know you so well, special. Sure, thank you. Yeah, first of all, it's great to be here at Automate in Detroit. Um, you know, McNaughton McKay is a uh, wholesale electrical distributor. Yeah. Um, you know, we service several different uh, markets uh, mm -hmm. and customers. You know, we service customers all the way from small electrical contractors all the way through to large scale manufacturers. Yes, sir. Um, McNaughton McKay uh, is, is a well known company here in Metro Detroit, as you mentioned. Absolutely. Um, and we service several different markets outside of Detroit uh, Michigan, Ohio, Georgia, and the Carolinas. And that doesn't even include the subsidiaries that, we, uh, uh, that we're part of globally. That's fantastic. Um, you know, uh, McNaughton McKay for over a century now has been known as uh, a lot of our customers' electrical distributor. What we're showcasing here today is that we are more than an electrical distributor. Right. So, services and solutions built around that in the automation space, as well as uh, I understand that you do a lot of distribution of automation equipment. We do. We do. So, so we actually uh, created a service and solutions team to develop an offering uh, to be able to complement our customers' business needs and the products that we sell. Tell us a little, a little bit about the market trends that you're seeing that were causing McNaughton McKay to say, hey, we need to expand our offerings, become more of a partner for these guys. Sure. Obviously, today on everyone's mind is supply chain, right? That's, that's the biggest one. Uh, another big one is workforce uh, development and, and, the, and the shortage of, of workforce. Um, safety is always a, a, a big topic, as, uh, as we see here at the show. Uh, collaborative robots are a thing. Uh, a lot of large, uh, complex automation and safety is a big part of that. Um, the other thing is getting manufacturing data off of, the, uh, off of the floor and up to an enterprise level system to be able to do something with it and make decisions on. Fantastic. So you're developing, you're providing services and engineering services for these folks, uh, helping them develop automated solutions for that. So how do they you also provide a little bit of support and training perhaps in the background? Yeah, absolutely. So we have not only supplemental resources to help our customers, right? But we also have the ability to train those resources if you, if you happen to, to have new placements. So uh, on-site, off-site training. Uh, we also have virtual options for virtual training. Um, we also have a host of, uh, of free resources available to us. So if you, if you visit our YouTube channel, our McNaught McKay YouTube channel, mm -hmm. we have a whole host of free resources available to our customers to help them train. Uh, we've done custom training, and we even have built uh, trainers for customers. So, so taking our products where they don't have to learn on the machines themselves, but actually uh, develop a trainer that is either portable uh, and or fixed in their, in their place where they can learn uh, without having to interrupt production and things like that. That's fantastic. So as distributor, how are you helping the supply chain issues that are just throughout industry here in the United States right now? Sure. Uh, well, as I mentioned before, supply chain is a big concern right now, <laughs> right? Uh, we do have services available to our customers to be able to help them through those challenges. Um, so if you can't get your hands on the actual physical hardware, we have the ability to virtualize that, right? Uh, I know uh, here at Automate, actually in the Automate Theater, you guys held a ses session on Digital Twin. Yes. We have a service to actually execute uh, that Digital Twin service. Uh, we have the ability to do virtual commission, emulation, and simulation. So we take the customer's physical assets, their mm -hmm. PLC program, uh, visualization uh, assets, as well as 3D models, and we can put it into a virtual environment. Wow. They can even interact with it in VR if they want to take it that far, but at the end of the day, the goal is to be able to get them further ahead in their process before they actually receive the physical hardware. That's fantastic. So with training, you got on-site training, you'll go to their location, you're doing train the trainers, you've got mobile work cells so you can bring them so that you don't impact negatively their production and keep keep up time while, while you're bringing on a new line. That's, that's, right. that's fantastic. And plus, I love that online community, the ability to, to offer free training and expertise for folks out there in the larger community. It seems like you're really trying to respond to that global community, even though you've got a real core of operations here in the Midwest and in the rest of the US. Absolutely. All right, so we're hearing a lot about, the, about Industry 4.0, Internet of Things, how is McNaughton McKay responding to that? How are they helping customers to take advantage of the new capabilities? Sure, yeah, that's great. Great question. It's, uh, it's on the top of everyone's mind here at the show too, is how do you take those assets and do something with them right. at a bigger scale? Right. And uh, I would suggest the first step in that journey is making sure that your network infrastructure is prepared for something like that, right? Good idea. Uh, 
very similar to the, the to the structure, uh, your bone structure, your body, right? The network is kind of like the spine uh, right. of, the, of the network to be able to uh, accomplish all your IIoT goals, right? right. Without a solid uh, foundation, you know, the rest of your plans will likely fall apart. So we have a team of, uh, of network engineers uh -huh. and network offerings to be able to support our customers in that journey. Uh, everything from network traffic analysis to security posture surveys and things like that. Um, as we all know, security is on, uh, on everyone's mind, right? If we're gonna connect these assets to some upper level system, how do we do that in a way that is also secure so that our IP doesn't actually get out into the market somehow? You know, that's fantastic because I talk to so many companies who are concerned about making their systems and their networks open. You want to be able to have remote access for engineering teams, for management teams around the globe, but that cybersecurity question is always a big one. So it's nice to know they've got you in their back pocket for when they need expertise in that area. That's fantastic. Absolutely. So robot safety is something we're hearing a lot about right now. We've got traditional robots of all shapes and sizes, greater capacity capabilities. Now we've got collaborative robots coming on there. How is McNaught and McKay helping people to be safe around their automation and the robotic systems? Absolutely, safety's always been a very complicated subject for a lot of people, That's right? That's true. Um, and as such, you know, McNaught and McKay has a, a host of safety services available to our customers to help them through that journey, right? Fantastic. As we all know, there, there's, there are steps to take to make sure that our workforce is safe, and that uh, everyone goes home at the end of the day. Right. Uh, we have uh, services such as safety risk assessments, mm -hmm. uh, if you don't know where to begin your safety journey, uh, as well as safety validation. So if you've done your safety risk assessment, uh, the most important step is then validating that what you uh, put out into uh, practice is actually what you set out to achieve. There you go, test and measurement. It's always, even when the robot, robotic safety, that's the core. Absolutely. Fantastic. All right, Nathan, so I've heard about training, I've heard about engineering solutions, yeah. we're talking about safety solutions. You guys are offering a really broad portfolio of solutions to this. If people want to know more about how to use your services, how do they reach sure. you? Yeah, so we want to partner with our customers, right? right? We have a whole host of services and solutions uh, for every part of our customer's journey. Uh, but if they wanted to know more, they could visit our website at www.mc-mc.com to learn more. Fantastic. Thanks for your time, Nathan. Absolutely, thank you very much.